Good morning, everybody. We're ready for a beautiful Pilates mat class. And uh, as you know, my name is Lynn Needle, and I'm teaching for Heart in Motion Studios. Many of you joined me last week for a beautiful Mother's Day homage. And thanks to Nikki Manx and Laura Van Dyke, the studio directors, we put together a class honoring mothers and open with the great Maya Angelou's Phenomenal Women. And of course, this class on Sundays is for everybody. Uh, sometimes my husband takes it. He's a, an athlete, runner, and a consummate um, you know, our, uh, athletic advocate, former coach, and just loves sports. He's excited, I think, that golf is gonna be back on TV today without an audience, and I think NASCAR is, has a race too. So what we do on Sundays is we commit to Pilates, which is, uh, of course, the vocabulary designed by Joseph Pilates, uh, who, uh, or his origins were, of course, from Germany, and his wife. Uh, they created a system of controlology, which has to do with opposition, length, height, and, 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 uh, and um, width, and depth. So height, width, and depth. Depth. So we're working skin, muscle, bone all the time. So without further ado, you have your mat, you get all set, and you're breathing. You can even use a nice pillow. I have a nice pillow here. We'll use this as a prop. I'm going to take my socks off. We'll have some beautiful music, and we'll get ready to go. All right, here we go. So again, I am happy to answer any questions that you might have. Go uh, run around the house or the apartment, get your favorite pillow. A square one is ideal. If not, just grab your bed pillow and leave it close by so we can access it. I like to take my socks off and work with my bare feet. If you feel your feet are cold, leave your socks on, okay? So here we go. We're sitting beautifully on a mat or a towel or a rug. Uh, bring your feet together in butterfly pose. Sit up nice and tall. Flop your knees open. Oh, we're getting a little live chat, which is new. Let me just see a message. Great. Okay. All right. Thank you again for coming. Oh, the reason I forgot to mention that we're doing Facebook Live is because Zoom as a platform is giving the world a little bit of a a problem this morning. So people are having problems uh, uh, streaming on Zoom. So anyway, I'm sure we'll return to Zoom, but thank you Facebook for, for being there for us. All right, here we go. Belly's lifted in. Draw the heels into the floor of the pelvis. Loop the shoulders up and back and down. Just shake the head lightly side to side like you're saying no to loosen the back of the neck. And come center, loop the shoulders. We're going to start with the contraction, pulling back and around. Tuck the chin. Inhale, gaze upward. Exhale, nose to toes, bow six. Closing your eyes. Cross the arms like you're taking a t-shirt off. Open it wide. We're going to fall to the right, go 90 degrees, then fall, rock it four. Elbow to the ground. Open. You'll feel the rib cage open here. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fall, pulse four. And three. We use a nice tempo. Center, spinal twist. Carve the air around, twist and wrap it. Two pulses. Come center. So you're spiraling. And go around two little pulses. Come center, hold. We're going to weight bear, prevent osteoporosis. Flex, hands behind your hips. Swing the pelvis towards me. All the way up, disappear, arch and hold it. Open the chest. Go ahead, sit. And we do the whole thing again. So for those of you that are new, I'll take you through the pattern. Round, exhale, contract. Inhale, lift, rise high. Exhale, right hand behind your head, pulse six, elbow to the ground. Let your hips open. Like you're taking a t-shirt off, cross open, wrap, fall left, and pulse two. Inhale, broaden. Inhale, exhale, pulse. 
We spiral again. Exhale, rinse the air out of the lungs. Inhale. Exhale, blow. Let's talk about our breathing. And inhale. Exhale through the lips. Blow. And drop down. I had a little bit of a stiff neck at the beginning of class. It feels better already. Here we go. Round feeling your depth. Contract. Inhale, pull. Open the chest. Left hand behind the head, pulse six, five. This opens the lower back, the sacrum. Cross, take that t-shirt off, go left. Inhale, exhale, two pulses. And lift, thinning the length in the waist. And twist, around pulse two. And return, and one. Here we go. Flex heels tight, hands behind your hips, lift and rise up. Drop down halfway, we're gonna get a little more challenging. Flex, point, flex, right leg, draw heels together. Left is a little harder because you're balancing on two arms and one leg. Try again, flex, point, flex, heels, squeeze. Go flex, point, flex, heels, squeeze. Pump those hips. Drop down, feet return, let's rest with two knees over to the left point, and open, and other side, roll, point, point those feet, use the feet, the muscles in the feet are so important, flex, sit cross-legged for me, right leg in front, take your arms wide, grab the wrist, index finger, to thumb, stretch and pull side. Look at the world sideways. Oh, stretch and open the rib cage. Pull out and up to build length. Again, we talked about opposition in the beginning of class. Make that length. Reach. Return center. Open the arms. We're going to take the back of the hand where you put lotion on. Dig it in your back pocket. Roll the shoulders out. Lift up again. Arch. Drop down. Listen to that nice lullaby music. Let's try it one more time. On an inhale. Inhale, lift. And drop. Take the arms high and stretch. Weave the fingers. Press the palms upward. Hold it. Notice how I'm lengthening in my torso. We talk about popsicle sticks in the ribs. Think of those old good humor popsicles you used to have. Put those popsicle sticks in the ribs. Lift up, lengthen, tuck your chin. Really stretch to the sky. You have to keep lengthening and growing, growing, growing in all your Pilates work. Open the arms out, hands behind your hips, jump the legs open, change legs, dig in the back pocket, roll out, lift up again, open. Exhale, drop. Weave your fingers, palms down, Press up, hold it, stretch more popsicle sticks. I am not thrusting my ribs out, I'm holding them in. Stay there so you can see my profile. I'm holding my ribs in, not thrusting them out, but holding them in tight. Container, we say the torso is the container. Tuck the chin, stretch more, hold the container tight. It's like putting a lid on the Tupperware. Inhale, look upward. Stretch, broaden and hold. Now we go side to side for one, single cap, two, working the midline, three. A lot of people are doing a lot of sitting, so we want to work the waistline, the midline, four. Exhale, three, tick tock, side two. One more, one, come center, stretch that neck out, hug the head and tug it. You can do it. Other side, tug it. Feel like a bow and arrow. The elbow pulls one way, the arm pulls in opposition. I'm not rolling my shoulder in, but out. Palm is down. Other side, inhale, exhale, reach, pull. Very nicely done, and hold. All right, here we go. We're gonna go over on our shins now. Yeah, take a quick child's pose. We'll borrow from yoga. Hips back, head down, bow and hold. 
You can use your pillow here. Put your pillow on your lap. Fold the belly. The popsicle sticks lengthening on the pillow. Let the head float. Drop the head and breathe. Tuck your chin. Squish the pillow and bow. Hold. Roll up, take your pillow away from me, come right away on all fours, inhale, arch, exhale, round, inhale, arch, exhale, through the lips, curl your toes, inhale, arch, wide eyes, my eyes are wide open, exhale, tuck your chin. Inhale, arch and hold. Now, this is fundamental Pilates. Come to flat back, right arm forward, thumb is up, left leg back, toes facing down, hold. Hold it. Reach the arm, reach the fingertips, reach the leg. Point the foot. Flex, dorsal flexion in the ankle, return. Catch cow, go ahead, arch. Here's your inhale, exhale round. Inhale, arch, go flat back, other side, left arm, right leg, you can do it. Thumb facing up, fan the fingers. Pretend you're on Broadway like a bossy jazz dancer. Reach the thumb upward, roll the right hip downward, flex the foot, then fully point the foot. Hold it, you can do it, push, push, push the ground away. Return, you'll be tired, arch. Exhale, round. Now start to bend the elbows and arch. Bow the head without touching the ground, then round tuck the chin. We're gonna circuit this and do four rounds. And bow in. Changing your torso, arch, you're building heat. Round tuck. One more, and arch. This is really healthy to warm the back up. And round, hold. Arch and stay, walk your hands forward a little bit, rock forward and back, keep the rib cage lifted. You're not dropping in the abdomen, lifting up in the abdomen. Go ahead with your hips, you can see my tailbone. I'm gonna lift up into downward dog, drop my head and pulse my heels. Listen to the music, pulse it. Belly is tight. Shake your head, yes, affirmation. Now, just like we did on all fours, lift the head up. This takes a lot of courage. Left leg goes up to hip height. Pour your weight on your right arm and try to take the right arm up. Weight is on the le left hand, right foot. Hold it. Return. That's a little challenging. Well, let's try the other side for fun. Some of these things are really fun to try. So first we do the leg. I'm in down dog. Right leg goes up and hold. Notice it's not turned out, it's parallel. I pour my weight in my right arm so my left arm can fly. Focus. Come on down. Lift the heels. Go to child's pose. Rest, relax. Rock the hips. Roll on up to a nice kneeling position. We're gonna swim now. Right arm up and back, back stroke. Left arm, that was a lot of effort, yeah? Inhale, so if it was too difficult, right, to do it in downward dog, you can always do the variation on all fours. So now you know, if you're tempted to rehearse and practice, that when you come on all fours, you can always do the opposition on all fours, now you know this, right? Or you can do the little harder version, up and downward dog, where the leg goes up and the arm goes up, right? So you have options, which is really nice. All right, here we go. So, we're getting ready. Right leg forward, lunge. Bring your right leg forward. We're gonna work on hip flexor and pulse. Now we're gonna do our work on our back. So in Pilates, we do work on our back, our stomach, our sides, right? Curl the back toe, float the knee, and rock the lunge. Palms can be flat or cup-shaped fingers. 
Lift the belly in. I'm really thinking in my mind about my abdomen. I'm lifting in the core the whole time. Go ahead, put the kneecap down. Point the foot, and we're gonna rock with the hips. Back and flex, forward demi lunge. Let's do three. Flex and bow, staying close to the ground so it feels really safe. Flex, that's why I like to do this at home, it's always safe. Flex and bow, stay and hold. Can you climb up your knee? Come on, up you go, hold it, and then pulse in the hip. So here I am with the top of my head facing upward, and I'm pulsing in my hip. My belly is in. Can you swim again? Right arm back stroke. That's a little harder. Left arm is easier. Left arm around. You can see how I open my heart muscle. Try again. Right arm is harder. Left arm is open and easier. Hold it. Go back to the earth. We're going to do a nice plank now. Shift the hips back. Right leg curls toes. Here we go. Good morning plank. Stay there. Rock forward and back. Keep lifting up in the core. So this is an active plank, right? I'm not lifting my hips up or dropping my hips down. I really feel flush and horizontal to the ground. Hold it. Hold it. Lift the right leg up, hold it, hold it, Re change, left leg up, steal up in your nerves, concentrate, and go to child's pose, back, bow right away, left arm curves underneath right shoulder, and rest, sit back on the heels, change sides for me, inhale, exhale, peekaboo, I see you. Belly lifted, I'm not dropping down on my ribs. And then we go left side. So go ahead, swing that left leg forward, press the front of the hip. It feels familiar now on this side, right? Pulse it out. We grow the back leg, curl the toe, pump the knee, pulse. So this is a little more intense. I try to flat my palms and I rock it out. If that's too much, go up on your cup shaped fingers. Rock it out, you can do it. Then you'll get a little tired, so put the back knee down, point the foot, rock it out, the hip goes back. Push and bow. Exhale, you start to open the hamstring. Look, the top of my head goes all the way up. Bow like I'm gonna kiss my leg. And go forward, ripple and lift. Exhale, blow. Inhale, ripple, top of the head up. I can even start to rise up, make it a little harder, more challenging. Exhale, back. Inhale, ripple up. Neck is open. One more. Exhale, back. Inhale, let's stay here, hold. Notice my shoulders are looped up and back. I'm not hiking my shoulders and my ears. Pressing down, opening the chest. Thinking happy thoughts on this Sunday morning. Pulse it out. You can do it. Swim. Left arm boom boom. Right arm cuts through the water. Left arm boom boom. Right arm third last repeat. Like you're going all the way across the pool. Up and back. Right arm up and back. Fall forward. Slowly shift back. This time, open your knees in child's pose and sit back and bow. I like to grab my yoga mat and stretch it. Really see how I'm flapping it? Stretch it, bow the head down. Wiggle side to side. Lift up in that belly, solar plexus. Lift it up. All right, really, really, really nice, everybody. So, let's get that pillow. Grab your pillow, we have some beautiful music, put it in the front, and you can see my bare middle, right? So I'm gonna work in here and work my back. You can see my trapezius, the upper back muscles, and my bare back. All right, so I wear this on purpose so you can see the muscle groups we're working on. I put the pillow under my chest, right about where my rib cage is, so my neck is floating and my hands are in a diamond, a nice diamond. So my forehead has room, I don't drop down, 
I push, and then my legs are turned out, flexed ankles. I'm gonna jump to an upward dog position, right? Up here, and then I bow down and go to my diamond. So my up dog is with my hands right under my shoulders, even if I push my pillow. I'm not out wide, right? Like a lot of men do push-ups in that wider position. Get under your shoulders, push up, some of you will float your pelvis, and then drop down slowly into your diamond. So this is the beginning of the swan in Pilates. Jump, lift long swan neck. Where's that swan neck? You can leave your pelvis on the ground or float it. Float the legs, it's a little more advanced. Then drop down. Point your feet. Prep one, top of the head leads. Open the eyes, push, a lot of work. Hold it, it's Sunday, and drop down. Exhale. This is really technical, you can do it. It's so good for the back. Shoulder loop, shoulders are pushing down, press. Takes a lot of strain, drop down. Now repetition is important, that's how we get strong. Give me two more. Inhale, lift. You can flex the ankles if you prefer that. Hold it, drop down. Exhale, now point the feet. Again, jump prep, lift up, push, drop down. Now, this is the good part. Adjust your pillow, take a little nap, close your eyes, and rest. Now, we're going to waddle. Look at my pelvis. I'm going to shake my hips side to side so all the muscles in my buttocks are loose. Change other side. Breathe. Good, come center. Now, I'm gonna lie down comfortably. I'm gonna look at you. My head is comfortable like this. And I'm gonna bring my legs a little narrower, not off the mat, but on the mat. I'm turned out and I'm gonna lift the right leg, lift the left. Now, it's not very healthy to have the spine twisted here. So I'm gonna put my third eye, move the pillow forward, right? I'm gonna get my lipstick on my pillow. Put my third eye right on top of my hands so my face is floating and I'm gonna kick Forever and ever and ever, opposite. I'm strengthening in my gluteals, lift. My knee is straight and I'm using my turn out. Lift, lift, and push. So what's the technique? I'm pushing my pelvis down into the ground and doing little opposite kicks. Do four, three, two, one, and rest. Come parallel, lift up, go like little forearm lift and flutter kick. Flutter kick, top of the head reaching forward. Flutter kick. Fly your arms, you can do it. Look forward, peekaboo. Flutter kick, come on. You'll get tired and rest and hold. Now you'll need a slow child's pose. Go back slowly, all the way back. Bow your head, pulse it out, belly in. All right, we're moving on. You'll see how this is so sequential. It's so fun to do. If you have uh, sore knees, bring your pillow under your knees. So my knees luckily are healthy, but some people have very tender knees and they say they can't do Pilates, but you can. Just put a pillow under your knees. So I'm on my forearms now, right? I'm dropping in my back and then I'm going to lift in my stomach. Watch. Right leg goes out, I'm turned out, and I drop down. Left leg swings up. Notice how my hip is turned out here. It's not turned in, it's turned out. Then I come back down. I squeeze my legs tight. Arch, round, peekaboo at my thumbs. So that's your little intermission. It looks like this. Please try with me. Swing, look at your knees round. Left leg open, attitude. Swing and contract, just the spine. Arch and round, set the reset button. Right leg way up and round. Left leg way up and round. Use your back, every muscle, every minute. And left leg and swing up and round. Look at your thumbs and round. Use your back, arch and round and neutral. Again, right 
and round. I use my spot. My eyes look forward. I look inward. Just my back. Arch and round and neutral. Left leg up and round. Right leg and round. Use your back. Arch and round and hold. All right, now here's the hard part. Stay with me. Right leg flexes. It's not turned out. It's parallel and I pump it to the ceiling. Pump it. Come on. Up and down. Point your foot. Up and down. Now real small, just little. Pushing up. I'm not dropping down, right? No kissing the ground. Keep the face lifted. Come down. Quick child's pose. Get your second wind. Come on forward in that beautiful chanting music. Flex the left foot. Pump it up. Again, I'm not turned out. I'm parallel. You get right in that gluteal, right where the hamstring meets the gluteal muscle. Lift. It's like map quest of the muscles, right? You know, right where the muscles connect. Here we go. Boom, boom. Look how big it is. Point your foot now. You're building heat. If you're hot, you're doing it well. Little now. Boom, boom. Little. This will really tone the derriere. No more sitting in quarantine. Up, 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 up. Woo! Bring it down. Sit back. Bow it out. Ripple it up. Loop your shoulders. And come off your pillow if you chose to use the pillow. All right, that was awesome. We're going to go down on our sides now. Stay with me. And we're going to eventually go on our back. So it's very scientific. I'm going down on my left side. I pick my head up. My armpit is flat. There's no air under here, no tension. I drop the shoulder blade down. I lengthen elbow, shoulder, hip, knees are to the front of the mat, toes are behind, cup shaped fingers. Lift and lower. Then I do two kicks. Everything is in twos. Then I do two clamshells, open and close. Notice how I pinch my hip. Open and close. The belly's in the whole time. Popsicle sticks are in. Here we go. Up to. Kick it out to. We call these devlape. Clamshell to. Feet together. Open. And again. As high as you can. Parallel. Go forward. Devlape kicks. Clamshells. Now, my husband has had two back surgeries and he does these with me to help strengthen his lower back and his piriformis. And they're really therapeutic for athletes, dancers, everybody, up and down. A lot of people work in a chair and have kind of a desk kind of career. You have to get your hips strong and moving, up and down. Two devlapes, boom, boom. Two clamshells. Now, guess what, we're gonna do four. Four and three, brisk, Tempo, devlape four, one, and two, and three, four clamshells, and open, hold your core, even if you pat your abdomen, hold your stomach. One more time, you'll feel the whole outer of the leg, it feels so good, so alive, and reach for breathing, and we're right on our mat, you can do this in a little tiny hallway, a little apartment, you don't need a lot of space, with the arm, arm is high, up. Reach for the stars, hold that arm there. If you want, you can hold a water bottle or your canteen, right? Your thermos or a weight, four or five pound weight and clamshell. Hold your hip now, two and three. Last time, add lift. So if you join us next week, we can add a weight in our arm and swing it out, one. You're gonna start to really feel it in the leg muscles, hip muscles, pinch your hip and clamshell, two, Three and four, guess what? Roll on your back, woo! This is a really great part. Look at my uh, waistline, I'm gonna tuck it, draw my knees in, separate and spin my hips. Look upward, point your feet, circulate the hip socket, go the opposite way. This is very primal, this is what a lot of, right, a lot of infants do, right, in their first or second year. Their hips are very kind of loose, right? And they just kind of, and then we say in yoga, happy baby. Woo, turn out and plug it in and rest. Really pull down with your arms, strong here. 
I like to give a lot of cueing and instruction in my class so you really understand the right mechanics. We're not just exercising, but really learning about the body as an instrument. All right, stay with me. Bring back to neutral. Hold, this is called a hip rocker. Hold the thighs, heels to hips. Rock up, bow the head, do two of them. Roll back, hips up and rock. One more, roll back. And then just simple pivot around the other side and down we go. All right, so get excited. You're gonna go down on your elbow, prop your head up. Legs are here, cup-shaped fingers. Belly is tight. You're along the back of the mat, knees are to the front of the mat. Up and down, two, my belly is in. Devlape, I'm pinching my hip, two clamshells. So first we start with two of each. Open and close, these are parallel leg lifts. Devlape, the shin reaches, then clamshell. We did four sets like that. Open, build it. Devlape, I'm really working core like crazy. And clamshell. One more in two. Open. And I'm breathing. I'm really checking, right, my respiratory system. And clamshell. Now I'm going to go to four. Up and down. So the twos are the learning curve. Now go four, développé. Belly in. Those of you that are super stretched, you can even grab and pull a little bit. You can add a little flourish. Clamshell. And two. And three. We're going to add the arm if you like. Here we go. Up and down. Reaching for the sky. Notice my arm is straight up. Développé. One. And two. You should be able to whistle a tune. You're so relaxed. And open. Pinch. And two, I'm pushing, imprinting the bottom leg into the mat when I do this. Arm up. If your arm is tired, just do the rested version. Okay, you can rest. And one, I'm giving you some fun options today. Two, and three. Clamshell, here we go, pinch your hip. And two, now I'm going to show you one more option. You can drop your head down, right? See how I drop my head down? So I'm at 90 degrees with my arms. Développé, one. And two. And throw it away. Clamshell. Open one. And two. Belly tight. And four. And you did it. Adjust on your back. Here we go. Get cozy. Knees into your chest. Point the feet on this side. Cross the right leg over the left knee. And hug it nicely. Look straight up at the ceiling. Shake your head no. Go ahead. Make a prayer. Rub your hands. Weave the fingers behind your head. My thumbs are behind my neck. And I'm going to exhale, elbows to knee, and back three times. Flex the feet on the second. Point the feet on the third. The fourth, I go up and hold, flex the feet, then I grab them and I try to lock it in. All right, we call this pretzel. Don't you feel like a pretzel? If it's too much, some of you have weak necks or vertigo, use your hand behind your head and really help it. Pull it forward. It's always good to assist, right? The, way, the head weighs 10 to 12 pounds, so you want to help it. Lie down, garland the legs, go the other side, weave the fingers in the opposite direction, right? Pretend that you're playing, right? The trumpet, think of Whitten Marsalis, right? Go the opposite way and tuck the knees in. I remember when we performed at Jazz at Lincoln Center and the company met Whitten Marcellus backstage and he gave us a big hug and Nikki was uh, fast, so fast, such a fast thinker. She grabbed a cell phone and we got a great picture with him. So if I see you next week, I'll share that with you. It's a really, really fun picture. Maybe Nikki can remember that moment. It was a big hug with the trumpet and Whitten and the dancers backstage. It was a great memory. All right, here we go, sitting up, little story. Exhale, one, flex the ankles, two, point, and three. On the fourth, go up and hold, flex, pretzel it, pull it in, pull it in, nice and tight. This will open your hip, thin the hip out like crazy. Now, left hand behind the head on this side, elbow to knee, hold it, and lie down. All right. Separate your feet. I'm slightly turned out. We're going to go into our Pilates, work on our back. Watch for a moment. I'm going to do a rocker, but with variation. My hands are down. I'm pushing my arms. I lift my hips. 
and I grab my legs. I push and rise. I push the back of my head down into the mat. Lift and rock. I try to pop my hips up. Up and drop. This really works lower core. Up. You could do these all day long. And up and down. One more. Rock up and hold. Great. All right. So I'm going to swivel around. Right? Lie on your back. This is a great time to get some water. And we're going to do this series on the back, which is going to require a lot of tucking, right? And it's going to require um, really understanding your core. All right? So here we go. I see some of our beautiful dancers are with us. So um, one of our, our really virtuosic performers, uh, a male dancer, um, you know, he can do everything we're doing upside down, spinning on his head. So it's good to see everybody live on, on Facebook. I'm really, really honored to be here. So let's go, down on our backs. Feet are parallel, arms are up. Let me move my mat so you can really adjust in your studio space here, right? There we go, I can still see you, okay? So Y, here we go, we make the letter T, right? Listen to this gorgeous music and I'm gonna suck and tuck. We call it hug a tree, release, and my ribs get big. See, there's air under my back. So here's my popsicle sticks. Suck and tuck, my hips go up. You know, my husband's first job was as a good humor man. So he knew all about popsicle sticks, right? And he told me he used to eat a lot of the ice cream. But he was the most popular guy in the neighborhood, driving that good humor truck, right? You would remember that, that bell ringing and all the children would run in the neighborhood. All right, so I'm humoring you so you work your pelvis. Notice, I sequentially go hip, waist, chest. Roll down chest, waist, hips. Again, hug a tree, I have energy in my arms. I'm not just circling, I have hard biceps. Then I turn my legs out and I'm gonna get up higher. Roll all the way up, roll all the way down. Exhale, blow. Inhale. Remember, you can do this in a little tiny hallway. Inhale. Just throw a bath towel down on the rug or the floor. You don't even need a yoga mat. And roll up, roll down. Now, take your arms, grab your mat or your towel, and just pump straight up and down. Up and down, I'm not rolling now, it's not sequential. Pump. To make it a little more challenging, don't land on the mat, just float your buttocks. Don't touch the floor, we're gonna go quickly. Six, five, you want to challenge it, right? You have people with really great strong feet. Releve, pop the heels up. Go ahead, settle the heels down. Do rounds of six and five and four. Releve and six. Now, hold, arms overhead. It's a little harder to take the arms overhead. Stretch, pulse down, pulse down, but keep the core tight. Pulse down, look straight up at the ceiling. Drop your heels, keep pulsing. You'll get what we call a little booty burn right under the buttocks. Go up, circle around. Go left, you can do it. Go right. Go left, now we're gonna be a little Latin. Arms down in my pelvis, right, left. Three, one and two and three. Hip goes left and right. And left and right and left. Grab your mat, go right and left. Stay with me, one, two. Last set and go left, go right. And one and two and three, even it out. Roll it down, you'll feel a little burn in the gluteal maximus minimus. Gently hug your knees. Spin it again. Belly is tight. All right, here we go, move those fingers, hold the shin, tug it. My thigh goes right into my chest, really tight. I'm using really strong arm muscles here, like Hercules. Hercules. Extend, bow the head up, stretch the hamstring. Hold the foot if you're more advanced. Straighten the left leg if it's more advanced. Flex ankles, hold the thigh, lie flat and tug. Really breathe. So important, exhale, stay healthy, stretch. 
and come in. Listen to that beautiful, calming, singing voice. Right arm wide, twist and rock it out. Rock that Watusi muscle, open the lower back. Now trace, pretend you have chalk. Sidewalk chalk, circle 360 degrees around and reverse it up and around. Do that again. Drop it, help your shoulders, right? A lot of our street dancers have shoulders that are so strong and you have to take care of them. Open that shoulder blade out, open the pectoral muscle. Turn out now, take the other leg, half the body canasana, tug it. Dab the pay, open the leg, open, open up more. Not everybody's pelvis will open equally. Yeah, just do one until you feel a nice little wake up call on in the inner thighs. Flex, hold underneath and hug it. Hand behind the head, round forward, grab your foot. Can you extend it, hold it, and bend it? Let's try that four times. So I'm gonna lie back, fold in and cocoon. Lie back, fold in. Lie back, stay with me, exhale. Inhale back, exhale in. Straighten left leg, left arm to right foot, Padmasana, flap the knee open. All right, we're gonna go single leg and hip press. Left leg comes up parallel. Pinky toe, palms open, hip goes up, roll it down. Sneak it up, sneak it down. Eyes closed, roll it up. See the darkness, roll up. And down, leg goes high. Now these are called eight and eight. I nickname these eight and eight. Arms overhead, we do two sets of eight. Eight grand batma kicks. This is a power move, kick. Point the foot, kick. Flex. This is all parallel alignment. The left foot is really imprinting, like I'm pushing into my flip-flops or my sandals. Push into your mat, into your rug. Kick. I exhale on the kick. And kick. Now I'm going to do a big bicycle, yeah? Down, bend up. Devlape. Point and up. Then we do retore, which is the reverse. In and up. Ret. To right, in and up, one more, in, catch it, point it, straighten it, bow, eight changes, and one, and two, you can do it. Notice here's our hug a tree, hug a tree, the tree is your leg, hug it, hug it, hug it, hug it, two legs in rest, all right, think of this like your intermission, right, open the legs out and stretch. Again, close your eyes, have a moment. We can feel each other virtually. You can feel everybody's beautiful energy. Shake your head, no, 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 no. Shake your head, yes, yes, yes. And go ahead, rub your hands again. Six sit-ups, and we go point and flex. Exhale. When I lift up, the core goes in. And exhale. Now, a lot of you I know work out all the time, so let's really crank it up and go quickly, and quickly, and up. And like one of my teachers said, do a thousand. No, just kidding. Just do quite a few. Lift. You can also do them slowly. Go up, hold, and release. Go up, hold, and release. One more, up, hold, stay, gather your legs, close them in, woo -hoo. Left leg, weave your fingers the opposite weave, remember Whit Marcellus, right? And tug in four. Breathing, exhale, use your breath. Flap, straighten the other leg, draw it in. Now you have goals, you can hold your calf or your foot or your toes. The other thigh is pressing down. Bend it, take that nice spinal twist. It's so healthy to get a little crack in the back here, yeah? Left arm, trace the circle. Memorize the pattern on the other side. Lift, open, do it again. Down and up, and reverse. Good, you should really start to feel really a wonderful energy. Turn out and tug. Let's see if you can remember. Hand behind the head, exhale, curve. Open the hip a little more. And 
again, you can bring the knee into half of Baddha Konasana. That'll help your hip to open a little bit more. Don't force it. Flex and hold under. Knee is right up by my shoulder. Grab your foot if you can. Open it. You can hold on from the inside as well. Lift your head up. Straight to the right leg. Right hand to left foot. Cross Padmasana. Flap it. I'm staying on my surfboard. Staying strong on the surfboard. I'm not falling and wiggling in water. Stay firm. Right leg up. Balance is important. Grab your mat. Pump it up and ripple down. Pump it up, ripple down. Then ripple up, ripple down twice. Ripple up, ripple down. Leg high, remember our eights. Here we go, arms overhead. Down and up. Now on this side, close your eyes. Give yourself permission to rest. Rest the eye muscles. Keep kicking. And point. Open the eyes. We do four and four in our bicycle. Flex. Think ahead. Point. Flex. Rot to right. In and out. In and up. In, kick up. Right foot imprinting into the mat. Grab it. Lengthen it. Work through the kneecap. Bow eight changes. And one. And two. Exhale. And five. Start the obliques where I look around right, look around left, and right. Again, more advanced is to go quickly, but it's also difficult to go slowly with control. Find your nice tempo, and bring your knees in on the chanting. Yes, guess what? Open your legs. Flex, relax, close your eyes. Breathe. Breathe. All right, bring your knees in. Here we are in neutral spine. That means I'm not sucking, I'm not arching, but my spine is neutral. Two popsicle sticks here, two popsicle sticks in my back. Here's the pattern. Suck and tuck twice. The second time the arms go overhead. Then I do swings, opening my hamstring pushing the opposite foot down, and flicking the leg up. So I do five, eight of these, six, and seven. On the eighth one, reset the arms. Suck and tuck, one, and release it. Suck and tuck, two, take the arms neutral. Swing one, all parallel two. Push three, I'm really pushing from the earth and flicking the toe up, and up, and six, and up, and up, last one, left, you reboot the arms, here we go, suck and tuck, release, suck and tuck, arms overhead, do four this time, four, and three, little countdown, two, reset the arms, suck, tuck, the hips go up off the floor now, last time, up, arms overhead, four, swing, and two, and three, and four, and hold. All right, bring your knees in. We're gonna do that rocker, our legs are together. A fist between your knees, squeezing. Close it, hands here. Align your head, rock up out the head. And we're gonna really try to skedaddle to the edge of the mat so I can go to halasana and rock. Here's my inhale. Exhale, let's try eight of these. Inhale back, exhale back, inhale back, exhale, really feel the spine warming up, inhale back, exhale back, one more, inhale, exhale, now we're going to add a little accent, when you come forward, go Baddha Konasana and fall, so we're going to slow it down, go hold the mat, one back, Fall, one forward back. Slowly back. Exhale, slowly back. We're ready for this now. Imprint and back. And slowly back. Last one. Back. Slowly bow, hold. Stay there, 
I'm going to show you that I'm in this forward bend, and I'm going to just walk over to the right to open my lower back and pulse. I have my lobster claw hands, cup-shaped fingers, and I'm pulsing. Take your left heel of your hand under knee and push it open. Give it a little love. Walk to the other side, pulse. Get used to it. You have to get the alignment first, then the effort. Drop your head. And come all the way up. All right, we're going to do, I, I, I honor my dance partner who is Native American, and I, we're going to do the four directions, okay? So draw your left leg in, right leg long. I'm in a seated position, and we're going to go four directions. Side towards the east. Other side towards the west. Bow forward, down. Cross, these are the north and south meridians, and then push up, arch. All right, let's go slowly. Exhale, side. Inhale, exhale, side. Use your hands, rock your hips up, bow, like a little head balance. Cross and open. Flex the ankle, push, full back bend. And sit. One more time, take it slowly. Exhale, side. Inhale, exhale, fall. Bow, rock it, top of the head on the ground. Cross, flex, push, and all the way up. Now let's add this a little harder. Here's the floor of my pelvis and my heel. I'm going to come forward and balance. See if you can balance and then slide and sit on my heel. You can just pulse a little bit. It's really nice. Garland the elbows high. Breathe. Open out. You can do it. Go ahead and take the right arm underneath. High. Keep those popsicle sticks lifted. I'm not collapsing in my middle, I'm lifting up. Hands behind your hips and just fall off the heel slowly to retreat back. Pluck the front heel with your heel, open it and draw the other leg in. All right, you're on the back of the mat, so you can use your turnout. Draw it in, flex the ankle, point the foot, other side. Exhale, fall, four directions. And the other side. East and west. Fall on your forearms, top of the head down. Cross. A little harder. Dig an arch up. And drop down. Beautiful pointed feet. Use the muscles in your feet. Exhale, bow. Inhale, prep, exhale, bow, side. Side tilt. Fall, flex, and bow the head. Cross and point. Dig and rise up. You can do it. Drop down. Flex. Float the pelvis right on top of the heel. I open my hip more. It's like a side Peter Pan split. Hold. Remember Peter Pan, right? Keep the shoulders down. Point the foot. It's a little harder. Belly in. And then when you exit, fall back behind the heels, and yes, two legs open. So waddle your hips as wide as you can. This is a very old standard exercise. Thumbs and hands behind your hips lift and press forward. Flex lift and press forward. So I want you to do that two or three times. Just get your legs as wide apart as you can. Really, really wide. Good. All right, one more time. One more time, as wide as you can. Just wanted to see that nice little love message I got from one of my dancers. All right, open wide, stay. Weave your prayer. Look like a little god or goddess. Point the feet, flex and lift. So I'm making length, like we said at the beginning of class, height. I'm making width in my arms and legs. And I'm gonna hug myself and make depth and contract. Round elbows down. Throw confetti like at a parade. Now I'm going to walk like a lion in the forest, 
right, left, right, stand, bow, hold it, pulse it out, breathe. A lot of you can get really low, some of you can put your abdomen on the ground, all the way down. You can also get your pillow. This is awesome for the pillow, right underneath. Get cozy with that pillow and stay, take a nap. Really work in our thighs. Change your head the opposite way. Do a little cat cow up, walk back. Now, some of you are ready to do splits, some of you not so much, some of you maybe it's a goal. I'm gonna teach you an easy way to learn. Flex in the knees, take your right hand in front, flip your legs to a fourth position, and then just slide the front leg out a little bit and slide the left leg back, the back leg a little bit. And those of you that can fall into the full split, you can try that here, right? If not, just stay sitting on your hip and keep the knees bent. And then bow your chest over the front leg and rest. So the full expression of this is in a full split with your chest down. But that's a lot to do for a lot of us that don't get to do this every day. So modification is to keep the knees bent and then just do it gently. It's like a little pigeon pose. It's really nice. So come on up, give me a nice open rainbow arm, open the leg, you're like this little spider position, roll the back leg in, take your time, I'm on my hip, straighten the front leg as far as you can, straighten the back leg a little bit, and then bow forward, relax, stay here. Those of you that can, full expression of the split, you can do it, right, you do it together. Lie forward if you can and rest. Breathe it out. Bolster your chest on your thigh. And come on up. Draw your legs in all the way. And we're actually going to finish in a really gorgeous forward bend. It's really healthy for circulation in the brain. So come around in your child's pose, right? I crawl to the back of the mat, I rest my inner thighs for our finish, bow forward, and then come back up to our little downward dog, and I'm just gonna do a nice little fire walk to the center of the mat and bow in a forward bend. So again, here's my stomach, it's not sticking out, it's pulling in, and here's the hip crease, and I draw an easy pulse. You can see that my feet are parallel and my mandala, parallel, squeezing my inner thigh energy and I draw up my head. Hold your elbows, we're gonna rock side to side gently. Suck your kneecaps up and really open up your hamstrings. Feels so good. Then be still, shake your head yes and no. And maybe, Woo. Not sure. Clap your hands in your lower back. Weave your fingers and stretch the shoulder blades out. Bend your knees and we're gonna do malasana. Bring your heels together. Drop down in malasana, the heels release. And then get your forearms down really low, palms facing up. My knees are opening, not closing, opening. And I bow my chin, tuck your chin. If you can get your elbows forward and pat your back, walk the elbows forward and pat your back and bow, drop the head. Feel like a little frog. Belly in. Offer the palms forward, come up and walk in. Let's take a closing balance. Notice how my hips open. I take my right arm wide, I take my chest up, top of my head to the ceiling, left arm wide, hold it. Take my mudra, like a little Buddha, index finger to thumb, energy bicep hard, pull it inward. Lift up in the chest, so my chest is in collapse. 
but I'm looping my shoulders and I go index, middle, ring, pinky. Open the legs, pinky, ring, middle, index. Again, tap through the fingers. Finish it, one. Loop your hands by your heart, keep opening the pelvis, pushing down on the balls of the feet. Breathe, shoulders are down, away from the ears. Popsicle sticks in the neck. Not hunching the shoulders up, but pressing them down. Hold it. You can feel fire in the floor of the pelvis, pulse. Then go back down to your malasana, all the way down. Walk back to sit the way we started our class today in Baddha Konasana. Draw your heels into the floor of the pelvis. Bring your hands to prayer. Hook the thumbs and fan the fingers up. Lift up, hug behind the ears, stretch. Open the arms out. So thank you, thank you so much for joining me on Facebook Live. I know it was a little bit of a pop-up. Go ahead and sit cross-legged. But it was really nice to be able to connect in light of our little Zoom snafu. We heard from all different people actually around the country. They were having some, some Zoom challenges. So we pivoted and went to Facebook Live and it was so great to see you all today. So have a beautiful Sunday and hopefully we'll see you later in the week. And love and peace and calmness to everybody. Namaste. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Kisses.